inseam tape. Available in 6 inches and 3 inches, inseam tape speeds application and has better performance than splice adhesive. Please note that 30-year warranties require 6-inch inseam tape and 20-year warranties require either 6-inch inseam tape or 3-inch pre-taped. Mulehide limits the warranty length on projects using splice adhesive to a maximum of 10 years, regardless of the membrane thickness. Begin by determining the seam tape width to use. Seams should be slightly wider than the inseam tape to allow for inconsistencies in the membrane roll. Seam widths of 4 to 5 inches are recommended for 3 inch tape. Seam widths of 7 to 8 inches are recommended for 6 inch tape. Mulehide requires a seam tape exposure of 1 8 inch to 3 8 inch beyond the edge of the seam. Next, fold back the top sheet to allow for priming. Apply tape primer using a scotch Bright pad in a circular motion. Ensure tape primer extends beyond the edge of the membrane on the top sheet and approximately 1 to 2 inches beyond the edge of the seam on the bottom sheet. When folded back down, you should see a pattern similar to this. As the tape primer dries, it will become flat black. Allow the tape primer to dry, yet remain tacky. Once dry, unfold the seam and mark the edges about every three feet. The marks should be approximately a thumb's width from the edge of the top sheet. Do not use chalk lines or other markers that can contaminate the tape primer. Next, we'll apply the tape. Once again, fold back the top sheet. Roll out approximately three to four feet of inseam tape. Aligning the edge of the release line around the marks, begin setting the tape. Once placed, roll seam tape with a two inch steel roller to remove any trapped air and to ensure a proper bond. Rolling perpendicular to the edge of the seam tape prevents creating wrinkles in the inseam tape. If more than one roll is needed, an overlap of one to two inches at the end of each roll is required. Fold the top sheet back down and pull the release liner off of the tape at a 45 degree angle, parallel to the roof. Then, with slight pressure, mate the surfaces together by swiping perpendicular to the seam to prevent wrinkling. Finally, with a two inch steel ruler, roll the entire length of the seam to ensure a proper bond. Always roll perpendicular to the edge of the seam to prevent wrinkling. Lap sealant is only required where there is an overlap in the seam tape. Remember, always use tape primer. Lap sealant is only required at all overlaps in inseam tape. Seam tape must be exposed 1 8 inch to 3 8 inch at the edge of the seam.